Do you think you're shy? Have you ever said, I don't know how to talk to people well, or sometimes I just don't know what to say and it's awkward, or I get really nervous when I talk to people who aren't my friends? Know that these are normal thoughts and everyone has some type of social anxiety, but being shy at work can actually be holding you back from getting that next promotion, building deeper relationships, or passing that interview. Not to worry, I've got five easy tips that'll help you feel more comfortable, confident, and stop being shy. Now, I have noticed that Americans can be seen as more outspoken and aggressive compared to other cultures. But if you wanna be successful here in America, it is only to your advantage to be a little more outgoing and not as shy. But why might you be shy? Maybe you were raised not to talk about yourself too much because that would come across as arrogant or bragging. Or maybe you were told to be quiet and let your work speak for itself. Or maybe you're worried about how people are gonna judge you based on what you say or what you do and so you'd rather just do nothing. Either way, I've got five easy tips to help that won't have you feeling exhausted when you leave work and don't make you seem fake. But before we get into these tips, please subscribe down below if you want more free advice on interviewing, resume writing, and getting promoted. Now, firstly, I wanna point out that being shy is all about perception and not how you actually feel. I have a lot of friends who are naturally introverted but can talk for days in the right setting. People who are often perceived as shy are really quiet or don't talk too much, they aren't friendly or outgoing, or they just agree with everything that everyone says. So if you're naturally more of an introverted person, being outgoing can be really tiring. But being outgoing and being friendly aren't always tied together. So tip number one to appear less shy is to talk at least once in every single meeting that you're a part of. Now this doesn't mean that you have to bring up some brand new idea that's groundbreaking or that you need to lead the meeting, but it does mean that you should participate so people know that you are there and are paying attention. Sometimes this could be as simple as agreeing with a suggestion or something that one of your coworkers or manager says. For example, I really like that idea and I know that the marketing department did something very similar and it worked out great. Tip number two to be less shy is to be more friendly and to talk to people outside of formal meetings. Now, don't worry, you don't need to have full-on conversations with someone in the hallway and I've got a little trick here for you. The trick is don't ask such broad, open-ended questions that will lead to long, uncomfortable conversations for you. For example, if you're passing by someone in the hall, you can say something like, Hey Jim, happy Monday. Or, Hey Jim, I really like your tie. By saying something thoughtful that isn't a question, they'll acknowledge you and get the impression that you aren't shy and are friendly. And tip number three to build on top of that prior tip is if you can talk about something that this person mentioned in a previous conversation and bring it up later, that will really impress them. Something like, hey Jim, I remember you were going to Hawaii last week, right? How was your trip? Tip number four to be less shy is not to give one word answers and to elaborate more. One way to easily do this is to talk more about the why or the how. For example, how was your weekend? Good. Versus, good, I went hiking and there was a beautiful waterfall at the end and then I had a really nice picnic. And the final tip is to smile and have a really good eye contact when you talk to someone. You could talk a lot, but if you don't have good eye contact or don't seem friendly by smiling, they will still interpret you as shy. We ate at this really good restaurant on Friday and their garlic fries were really good. We ate at this really good restaurant on Friday and the garlic fries were good. And there you have five easy tips to stop being shy at work that aren't too exhausting or seem fake. Drop a like if this was helpful and let me know down in the comments what other videos would be helpful for you. I want to add as much value as possible. Thank you all for watching and subscribe.